Okay, so after that last video, I decided that I really like the original brown better than the red. So I'm just going to stick with the original color scheme that I came up with. Now I'm going to try to do some animations. I'm just going to do some basically stick figure animations. I'm going to take the animation frames of the other enemy dying, and I'm just going to try to draw some new ones. I'm not going to copy the poses exactly. I'm just going to make some new falling down animation. So here's the frame of the other bad guy. And I'm just going to start making some new frames. I'll just add them uh, alongside these ones. Just got to start blocking out like the head, the feet. I'll, I'll, I'll lower the opacity down to the original just so I can kind of get an idea. I'll take away the other one. Let's see if we can flesh it out here. Looks like I can have his head like tilting down a little bit with his body falling backward. Not really sure exactly. That's uh, just getting the little shapes going. Figure out the flow of his legs and the first frame is going to be more of like a like the initial impact. like fingers spread out a little bit, arm kind of more straight down. His hair kind of uh, flopping a little bit. Uh, just trying to figure out his arms gonna go again. Try to get his uh, fingers kind of opening up here. pretty good. I'm just going to skip around in this video a bit so some of this stuff will be all my little mini, minor things of editing frames and renaming things are going to be cut out. But uh, so I'm just going to compare it here to the other frame and then move on to a, a second frame. This looks like the second frame of the first bad guy. I'm going to make a second frame of the of this next one here. I'll just draw on top of the first frame and see where the next frame will be moved. So kind of figure out where the head and where the body's gonna go. Kind of have his body like sprawling out a little bit more. Make sure I keep the feet, hands, head similar but uh, logical movement from the last frame. And I look at the next next frame of animation of the other guy. So we'll start uh, him kind of falling to the ground, his feet coming off the ground. I'll figure out where his feet are going to fly from. Curving over. That looks pretty good. 
I'll move on to the uh, next frame here. Just eat the fly more off the ground here. Um, the other guy I have falling on his back, but I'm going to have this guy like uh, turning over and then probably landing on his stomach. Figuring out how far his feet should move each frame. Looks like his leg, his, his left foot will be behind his other leg a little bit. one he'll, we'll have his body basically spun around now like halfway through the turn or I guess almost all the way through the turn to the um, to the ground Sometimes my scale of limbs proportions might end up uh, messing up a little bit, but as I get into like the coloring and final passes, I'll start to adjust things. Uh, and sometimes the movement, once I get everything actually moving um, frame to frame, that, was, that one looked a little too high, so I'm moving them down a little bit. Um, all right, he's going to fall faster down towards the ground here. Again, just drawing each each limb, just trailing the last one, and kind of a logical movement of his fall. Sometimes it can get confusing drawing the same color over the top of those one, trying to figure out which which character is uh, which frame. But Next one will be his like impact to the ground. So if it is like face um, right on the ground there, and I think I'll have like his his legs should be they should like compress um, down next down against him like it like impacts and his legs bend and basically kick downward. I guess kind of like upward kick him in, himself in the butt almost. Or maybe that'll be the next frame. So he's like impacting the ground here, um, and then I'll have his legs like sprawl out to uh, end um, like flat on his face. The game is kind of done like a little top, not quite top down, but like a three quarter perspective. So he needs to be kind of sprawling out in an angle in perspective. I probably messed up that last frame a little bit, but. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna fi finish all the frames and then and then I'll add in the um, I'll see how it looks and then I'll adjust it as I go. If I need to add frames somewhere or um, add change the movements of something, I'll do that. So this next section, I'll just put all the frames together in the little uh, in the animation 
on the timeline of Photoshop. I'm speeding it up here so we can just see it real fast. Let's put all the different mm -hmm. frames here. And then uh, once I get all the frames, I'll play it and see how it looks. So let's see how it looks all together. Boom. Oh, yeah, see, he definitely needs more of like impact at the bottom, but at least this is like the, the hit and fall looks decent. Um, at least you can tell what's going on. The next video we'll clean it up and, and see exactly what we need to do to make it a little smoother and finish it off.